Enough is enough, America. Enough is enough, America. Enough is enough, America. Enough. It has been a long six months for the family of Breonna Taylor after she was shot and killed by Louisville police during a search warrant. This week we learned the officers will not be charged in her death. The attorney general reporting that while the officers had a no knock warrant, there is evidence they announced their presence before going in and getting into a shootout with Taylor's boyfriend who says he thought they were intruders. He shot once. The nationwide outcry over the case stirring up memories of a similar one here in Atlanta. 14 years ago, Atlanta police officers shot and killed 92 year old Katherine Johnston when serving a no knock warrant at her home, but it was the wrong house. I spoke with someone close to the case. The, the tragedy that happened to Brianna just reminds me so much of the night that Katherine Johnston was killed. It's been 14 years since Atlanta police officers burst into the Northwest Atlanta home of 92 year old Katherine Johnston two days before Thanksgiving. Frightened, she grabbed her pistol and shot once to protect herself. Police returned fire 39 times, hitting her six times, killing her. Today, those close to the case see similarities between Johnson's death and the death of Breonna Taylor. It's saddening and in a lot of ways it's maddening. Officers entered Johnston's home on a no-knock drug warrant based on bad information. The officers tried to cover up their bad act by planting drug evidence in Johnston's home. The truth of the matter is it was the process, it was policy and procedure that killed Katherine Johnston, and it's the same thing for Breonna Taylor. Unlike Breonna Taylor's case, the three officers who entered Johnston's home were all arrested and convicted on federal charges. There's still an active federal investigation in Taylor's case, which could lead to charges for the officers. Reverend Marco Hutchins believes Taylor's death presents a new opportunity for systemic change. We have to focus on the solutions and not just being angry or upset, which we have every right to be. But at some point, you've got to turn your pain into power.